What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another unboxing. Uh, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Thermoto temperature sensor for iPhone. Um, essentially what this little device is, is it allows you to accurately read uh, the temperature in a current, or in a room, or outside, uh, in an outside place that you're at. So basically if you want to know how warm or cold or whatever it is in a particular room of your house, for example. Uh, this little device will easily allow you to do that. Um, and I picked it up off of the Thermoto website uh, for $30 uh, for the actual sensor itself. And then I also went ahead and picked up the extension cable, uh, which costs about $8. And it is... Uh, 40 inches long. You also have the option of getting an 8 inch cable as well. <clears throat> so, really nice. So, let's go ahead and open up the little Thermoto device itself. So, let's go ahead and get it out of this box here. Okay, so it's in its own little brown package that says Thermoto on it. And also, I did pick up the black model. Uh, you do also have the option of picking up what's called the premium Thermoto. And essentially what it is, is it's basically an all-metal design. Uh, I believe it's made out of aluminum. Uh, so, basically, and it costs $45. So, basically, if you want to pay $15 extra to get a metal Thermoto, uh, be my guest. <clears throat> uh, but in my opinion, it's really not necessary. It's all uh, comes down to personal preferences, and if you want to have the metal design and look, uh, you can go right ahead and do that. But I went ahead and went with the plastic black version, because that will just do me just fine. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and take it out of this little brown package here. And I think that's all that's in there. Yes, that is all that's in the little package. So, here it is. Uh, it is an incredibly small little device, as you can see. Really, really small in the palm of my hand. Uh, and it does include... Let me go and focus in here better. Uh, it does include a little keychain ring. So, if you want to attach this to your keys or something like that. So, you can always have it wherever you go. Um, and it does, the way you get it out of here, this right here is the actual little Thermoto device itself. And this is just essentially the little holder, uh, so you can carry it around. But this right here is the actual little temperature sensor that will allow you to accurately read the temperature of a current place that you're at. Which is really nice, and I'm still very intrigued and interested by this thing. Um... Now, what you do is you plug it in directly into the um, the headphone jack of your phone. Uh, so, now the reason why I got the extension cable, let's go ahead and open that now. Uh, but is it, uh, anyways, because I have a case on my phone and the little device will not fit directly. So, if you have a phone that doesn't have a case, you can easily pop this right in there and it'll fit pretty snug but if you have a fairly thick case on your phone you'll need some sort of an extension cable to be able to use it because it just won't fit which is kind of a bummer uh, but anyway yeah here's what the Thermoto extension cable looks like uh, it's a female to a male extension right there uh, like I said I got the 40 inch version uh, so, anyway, let's go ahead and give you guys a demonstration of how this little device works. Let's move this out of the way. And also, you want to be very, very careful uh, when holding this because if you ha touch the top of it or basically touch anywhere on this device with your hands uh, while you're trying to get a temperature reading, uh, it will be significantly inaccurate because um, since your hands are much, much warmer than the environment around you, um, 
it will give you a really inaccurate reading. So it'll basically say that it's much hotter than it actually is. So keep that in mind. So if you're using this, try to keep your hands from touching the little device uh, while you're using it. Uh, so that's just one thing to note. Anyway, so let's go ahead and give a quick demonstration. So I'm going to be using an iPhone 5 for this particular example. So what you need to do first... Uh, first and foremost, before being able to use this device, is downloading the special Thermoto Companion app. So once you've downloaded that, just go ahead and open it up. And it'll ask you if you want to rate the uh, application. It'll run you through the, uh, the uh, how-to and quick start. As you can see, it's giving you a warning about the body heat. And it says plug directly into the phone. Uh, also, I forgot, this is another thing. Uh, it does, uh, it will pick up your device's heat as well, so you need to turn on a setting within the settings uh, menu that will compensate for that uh, if your device is getting pretty significantly hot. And that's pretty much it. So, okay, I got it. Okay, so now what we need to do is insert the device. So let's go ahead, let me focus back in here. Uh, let's uh, plug the extension cable into the bottom of the phone. And now plug the little Thermoto device into the other end of the cable. There we are. Clips into place. And it's going to ask for microphone access. As this, since it's using the headphone jack, it has to use or get access to that. Okay, so now it's going to detect the Thermoto which could take a few seconds. There we go. And it also needs your location as well, so you're going to have to grant access to that as well. So go ahead and click on that. And let me go into settings real quick. Scroll up here. So, actually, I'll do that in just a second. So basically, uh, here is the main screen. So as you can see, it is currently reading the temperature of the room that I'm in. And I think it's running off of uh, Celsius right now, so let me change that. Let's go to Fahrenheit. So currently, it is 71.7 degrees in my room. Uh, so uh, that's actually somewhat hot, actually, for, for where I'm at. Um, and what's cool, uh, as it gets hot, the screen will dynamically change. So it'll essentially become red. Let me zoom in. Uh, it'll become red, and you'll get some indication arrows going up or down, depending on what's going on. So just to give an example, I'm going to touch the top of it with my finger, so you can see the temperature change. So I'm going to touch it with my finger, and it should start increasing in temperature. As you can see there, the screen is starting to turn red, because it is starting to read my body heat. There you go, it's getting pretty hot now. <laughs> So then if you take your finger, or if I take my finger off of it, uh, the temperature should start to slowly drop back down and regulate to the base temperature that it started out as. So we should start seeing it drop a few, cent a few degrees. As you can see, it's very slowly dropping back down now. There you go. So that's pretty neat. Um, also, uh, like I said, you have a few settings that you can configure. Now, if you're doing this inside, you want to make sure to hit the inside button. And now if you go outside, you want to make sure to hit the outside button. So you can just uh, basically calibrate it to give you the most accurate reading. Um, you can choose to have a location of where you're currently uh, reading the temperature. Then you can add a photo. Uh, to that temperature reading, so you can basically remember how cold it was or how warm it was wherever you were at, which is kind of neat. Uh, and then you have this little bar graph icon here, which shows your history of all of your temperature readings throughout the entire time you've been using it. Uh, and then we also have settings, so let's go ahead and jump into the settings application, or settings uh, menu, rather. So, uh, like I, like earlier, you can either ch uh, change from Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, my preferred 
uh, in my current area is Fahrenheit. Uh, and then here is the option that I was talking about, compensate for device heat. So you'd want to turn this on if your phone is uh, getting pretty hot and could uh, potentially screw up the uh, reading. And then you can choose to turn on or off the indication arrows. Uh, you can show detailed measurements. So if I turn that on, let's go back. Uh, you can now see detailed information about the temperature. So it'll say the lowest was 70.4. The average is about 71.9. And then the highest it got was 73.8. So that's a nifty little feature there. Let's go back into the settings. So then we have contribute to the global heat map. So basically you can share your temperature readings with the community and basically uh, give people an insight of the temperature around you, oh, which is kind of cool. And then you have thermoto detection, which you might have to turn this off if your phone is having trouble detecting the device. Uh, but mostly you would like to t uh, keep this turned on in most cases. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, that's basically it of this little Thermoto device. As you can see, it is pretty interesting. Um, uh, I could see myself using this actually a lot. So I can get an accurate temperature reading rather than just going off an estimate of such, say, for example, a weather application that goes off of, I think, weather radar and everything like that. So I'd rather use this because it's personal and just gives me a accurate reading of where I am. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's kind of turned out to be a somewhat long one, but I feel I've gotten all the information out uh, in there. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down there. Also, hit that like button. Much appreciated. Uh, also, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, make sure to leave those in the section below, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. So, once again, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.